Well, boys, another day here at Midnight Motors. It's not midnight, but I know I haven't been here in a while. It's been a long time, about a week. I haven't posted anything for you guys, but we've just been so busy here trying to get all of these vehicles out of here before Halloween. And we got Nick's car over here, a little update for you guys on his. Well, his car is pretty much almost done. This should be, I wanna say started today. We have to just do a little stuff like some AN lines for the radiator and the uh, fuel lines, you know, coming from the front and the back. But he's got wiring, got the front end ATI balancer. He's got everything pretty much done. And look at this guys, Nick's trailer, his other, or this, who knows what number it is, is finally gone, sold. That's it, let's see, where is he? I guess not in here. Well, this thing is sold. It's done. It's pretty much going to be out of here. I want to say in probably 30 minutes. And the new trailer, he's got Sawzall going. What the? Hey. What's going on in here? So here's a new trailer. You guys saw, if you remember, he's still doing some, some goodies on it. Where's Diesel? And well, the purpose of the video is you guys saw. We... I have converted another sucker to get rid of his uh, Can-Am. This is actually the third person. I actually have another person that is putting his new Can-Am four-seater for sale. So I will be, um, this will be fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth person converted. Oh, actually I got another person you'll see in our group that has converted, sold his Razor. He just got a nice buggy too. So we are pretty much like a, uh, buggy only i guess now we have i don't think we have any more razors do we have any razors or can amps left me? yeah um, anything asking you damn this thing's dusty you gotta get this dirt off this, this <clears throat> i don't think guys we have any more can amps so, so nick has been converted i've been converted that one is alvis he's been converted um danny he's been converted and now mikey is going to convert but this right here <clears throat> is um, a Tatum, believe it or not. This has, it's pretty much a stroked LS1. It was built by CBM. We got CBM heads. It does have the Terminator in it. Um, sniper manifold, uh, sniper throttle body. It's, the guy says he's pretty much went through everything. I would, I told him right away, dude, you gotta get these things coated. This is just, this is ugly. So he's gonna do that, but now here's the crazy thing. So, and, and comment down below, guys. Let me let me know your thoughts on this whole thing. So this thing is just a regular H pattern transmission, okay? Just, you know, your regular 2D Mendiola. <clears throat> and it has 930 CVs, which that's the wrong size boot. And now check this out. Transmission 930 CVs with 36 inch tires on this thing on 17 inch rims so <clears throat> i don't know i mean th these these things these wheels are huge i mean look at these look at these things so beautiful car i love the car love the layout of it looks awesome this thing even the front see these fronts look like they're like 38 inches these are massive we're gonna pull it out um we just i'm waiting for uh nick's guy to come pick up his trailer so we can have some room but uh, beautiful car, love the seats, you know, it's got that jet trim uh, seat on there, it's got race radio. What the shit is he doing over there? Look at this guy. He's, he's, he's cutting with the saw. He's cutting. You don't have to move your hand, you just hold it and it goes back and forth for you. It's not the right blade. Oh, okay, well, I, don't, I don't know, I don't do much woodwork, sorry. So, he's got race radio, switch pros, uh, he's got a little screen, but he wants to Pretty much do what I did, exactly. Put the huge screen in there. He wants to wrap it. He was thinking like some red gator. Um, it, you know, but it, it's got everything. It looks like a good car from the looks of it. Again, we can't really tell until you really get out there. But nice Baja design light bar. He's got, uh, I don't know why this one is just silver. I don't know if this, I assume it's different, but it looks identical. It looks like it's just got spots. So maybe a different type of light. Um, but they both say this AL80, AL80. So I don't know. It's got nice lights up there, Baja design light. Um, it is, I think I wanna say, what do you say this was, 2012, the year? 11? 11 or 12, guys, uh, is this car right here. So right now, the guy's using this screen. I told him, you know, we can put your nice, bigger screen in there. 
Uh, but, yeah, you know, we're going to start it up, let you guys hear it. I do want to do a compression test on it. I'm just curious to see uh, the compression on this thing. So uh, we're going to do that. And then also he wants to actually get rid of that uh, light bar or the whip that he's got right now. It is quick light, I believe. They're really, really dim. They're, you know, nice, nice concept, but the lighting is just so weak. Uh, so I, you know, I don't know. I told him to get rid of it. So he's going to get rid of that and uh, go with the buggy whip lights. And uh, well, you know, we'll go from there. It sounds really, really good. When you hear this thing, you can tell it's got a nice big fat cam, very healthy. Um, but you know, I mean, it, it sound, I think it sound good, but who knows? We'll see. So once we start it, uh, I'll show you guys. Stay tuned. All right. So tell me what you think of the uh, desert built buggy industry. Where are you going? Where are you going? Your buggy's other, over here. Just, that's it, guy. Yeah. So, so he can't say it due to. Dude. So Nick has ordered from probably every desert, you know, or, or off-road company, and it is unbelievable how clueless a lot of these companies are. I'm not going to say their name, but it's pretty amazing. Like, you know, let's just say you ordered a cam. It's going to be a three-bolt cam gear. Well, they failed to send one after he ordered. Then, say you send some steam ports, right? You order some of that. This side, uh, you just have to have a single line. You can't have another one because it's just, you know, it's gonna start puking out. So even these steam ports, uh, you got one, you know, it's gonna go from there to there. This side should only have one, not two. This side should have two because one's gonna go to that side of the head and the other one's gonna go to the radiator to allow it to bleed. Uh, he's ordered these, I believe three or four times. They have sent them the same one and we've confirmed part numbers and well, poor Nick, has been dealing with a nightmare with this sand car as pretty much anybody that works on a sand car including josh over here <laughs> how many things he has been telling me we need and they don't have this and this doesn't work and that's not gonna there and this is not gonna do this and that's not gonna that is the sand car world guys where like how i made the last video pros and cons to a sand car and a can-am can-am you go right on motor old vase wherever coin and Say, hey, I got a 2020, yada, yada, can am. I need this, this, chingus, that. Boom, here you go, right over the counter. Boom, thank you, done. Where, in these sand car situations, you can't really say, you know, I've got a, I mean, you could say I got a 2020, whatever, Funko or Tatum or whatever you want, um, but there's no real store. You know, it's like you can't get it anywhere. So Nick's situation, like Nick's, he's got a 2020 Desert Dynamics, and he can't go to Desert Dynamics and say, hey, I need steam ports. Um, so he buys from tons of people and still gets and wrong parts. Get railed. Yeah. Back and forth. So all I can say is I'm Don't done. Buy a sand rail. Uh, all I can say is I'm done. I'm ready. Let's do this. Here it is, boys. Check it out. Check her out. Gosh, these things are mess. Look at these things. I mean, they are up to here. My hips. These things are ginormous. Ooh, baby. Let me know. What do you guys think? Honest opinion. Here you go. I have to change that button. Button's a little faded. Put a nice screen in there. What do you think? There you go. Give me your honest opinion, guys. Check her out. Check her out. Comment down below. Let me know how you this, this thing sounds like a Prius or what. But what I want to do, you know me, I'm scale happy. So I'm going to weigh this thing. I've been weighing a lot of these cars just to get an idea roughly of how much these things are weighing. And well, let's see. Uh, and this thing, I don't know, it looks big and beefy and girthy, but we're about to find out. All right, boys, scale's on. What, what is your guess? What are we thinking? 2200. This guy, man, I told him. <laughs> 2200. 2750. 2750? Let's go. 
I'm going to say 2,618 pounds. Jesus. 20... 2618 okay. I'm calling boys. Hey, so you, you get that right, you better play the lottery. Right? We, oh, we are zero we're zeroed out. 2718. 20 no 2618 26, I said. 2618. Yeah. All right. All right boys, so I guess back it up and uh push push it on. Get a nice little rolling start. Come on, a little more. Here they go. Push up. All right, ready? Come on, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Boom, 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 stop, stop. Stop. Okay. Gotta put it in a gear or lock it or something. Is it not wrong? Okay, hold it. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Pull it back a little bit. Right there. Hold that. And guys, we don't know how much fuel is in it, so we're not. Or did did you take a peek on the fuel? I tried to look. It looks like it's about a quarter full. Okay. Holy moly! <laughs> Pretty impressive. Twenty three forty two. Oh, I'm sorry. Twenty two. Wow. Ooh. There we go. That is. He blew me off three times. I had to change my fucking. Game. Well, I mean, <laughs> that, 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 it's going to be more than 22, obviously, but that is actually, guys, uh, you know very... what? With an empty gas tank, 22 all day. Yeah, but I mean, you're not driving this Absolutely. empty, so. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right bro. So, that's pretty damn light, guys. 22, 23.42. And you can see the balance. You see the percentages right there. So, we got. 360, 370. So we're at call it 16% in the front. Call on an average of 34% in the rear. 2340, boys. This is not a. Uh, you got 100 pounds more on the right side. Is that what I'm reading? Yeah, almost. Yeah. 100 pounds more on the right side. Does that sound right? It's that air filter. <laughs> no, the driveway. It's probably leading that way. Got it. So it's just, yeah, giving you that. But it's not going to change the weight of the car. No, absolutely not. So, yeah, this is not a uh, this is not a heavy car. So this is going to be a rocket ship, dude. It's going to definitely come up. This thing, yeah. Wow. That's, that's very impressive. I'm surprised. Must be he just has some cheap tubing or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whatever. Lightweight tubing. Lightweight tubing, right? Yeah. No, that's, that's you, impressive, you guys. You hear that, Tatum? So this is 2340. <laughs> My car was 2588 with a full tank. So we're about the same. Call this, yeah, we're probably going to be close with yeah. with fuel and everything. Oh, I like it. That's awesome. All right. Well, now we know. But now that the car is in here, guys, well, we have to do some service on it. So stay tuned for that video. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.